My name's David Wright. My sport is agility. I have a miniature poodle. Uh, my name is Greg Derrett and I'm in the uh, large agility. Uh, my name's Natasha Wise and I'm competing in the um, medium championship. I've been in agility since the age of eight, so I've um, been competing for 22 years. My maths is not great. Um, so yeah, and I got into it through the YKC. used to travel around shows with my sister. Um, used to borrow everybody else's dogs and run them because I couldn't have my own family pet because my parents weren't really into agility. Um, so yeah, my sister, sister got me into it and um, used to go around the shows with her. I got into it because as a 12-year-old, I was, got my first dog and my parents told me I had a good dog training. So. I do this sport because my dogs absolutely love it. Uh, one of them in particular is only ever really happy in life when she's doing agility on a course. So it's a great way to exercise the brain and the body. I'm a sports person myself. Um, I've got a master's degree in exercise science, so I enjoy teaching, I enjoy performing um, in the sporting context. So the two combine very well together. Um, and yeah, I just love my dogs. I've always loved dogs, and that's as, as we've come through from that. I'm not sure how many times I've tried to win the champ. I haven't got a clue. Seven, eight times. To compete in agility, there has to be quite a high level of obedience. The dog is performing in an arena, and it mustn't leave that arena to go into, the, very often there'll be a ring next door. So the dog, you're asking the dog to turn left and right instantly on command. So obedience is a big factor. Obviously they know how to do each piece of equipment, so it's basically a case of teaching them or telling them to go left or right or go straight, either with your verbal cues or your physical cues. Trying up my game every year and, and the standard in my category is getting so much better, which is, is just brilliant. So um, I like to, I look at my ground speed quite a lot and I feel that she's pretty consistent with ground speed and getting better, but what I think helps her is our experience together. I think she does read when she knows that it's a big event, so she's sort of like, I feel at the moment that she's looking after me in a way. I don't know if she is or not, but I just feel that from her. We do, I don't do too much training with most of my dogs. I do more training with youngsters that I've got coming on. Once the dogs get to competition level, I reduce the training because I don't want to burn the dog out too early. It's a sport that I want to, them to compete in for a long time. So I limit each of my dogs probably is trained for about a maximum of an hour per week. Technically, the sport is changing a lot over the last couple of years. Um, different handling coming in to try and stay with the European the European scene, lots of running, more running, which is exciting. So she's got to adapt to that. Um, and so hopefully, yeah, we like to, to try and move through that journey. So I'd like to hope that she's getting better and our times are getting be uh, faster, but yeah.